Next here in our video tutorial on the use of Word 2013 and uh, Word 365, I'm going to demonstrate how to insert headers and footers in a document. So notice I have a lot of different pages here in my document and I want to identify which page is what. So what you do is you go anywhere in your document, then you click on the insert tab, then we click on header. Under headers here, we can insert any of those predefined headers that we have here. So let's say we choose a fancy one here. And notice it put the page number in the top. And then notice that the first page does not have that page number in the document. The reason for that is because we chose here to insert a cover page in our document when we first created this document. Now notice on the header and footer area, of course this is kind of fancy here, but we have the header and footer tools. And notice there are picture tools, drawing foot tools, and all that type of stuff. That's because this type of header is a rich header with multiple other pieces to it as well. So here under header and footer tools, Notice you have the different options. Of course, the option for different first page, this is something in regular documents that you could utilize. In this case, it's grayed out because we already have a cover page for this document, but you could utilize that different from first page. That's how you can get away with it in other regular documents. Then show the document text. That's basically, you could put the title of the document if you want over here. And then also you can insert, let's say, more pictures, more other stuff. You can insert here as well a specific field if you wanted to. So for example, let's say you wanted the file name or you want something located. Usually you'd not put it in the top, but you can basically just choose a field, you click on OK here, and it will insert it as part of the header for your document. So pretty much all we had to do was select the header option and pick one of them and let it do its thing. Notice it's page 4. In the bottom, if we wanted to, you can go and insert also footers. So you can either, if you're on the header option, you can click on go to footer here, or you can go back under the insert tab and you can choose footer and then pick one of the footers from here. Pick the footer and it says it's going to insert the document title, the subtitle, and you can insert whatever else you want in there. Those, by the way, the document title or subtitle, that is simply a field that I mentioned just a, a moment ago under the quick parts here. And at this point, that uh, should do it. You can de define the, the header from the top and from the bottom, the margins, and then click close header and footer. To get to the footer, let's say we don't like this, in this case it's not populating it for us, all you have to do is double click and then simply delete what's there and insert, let's say page number, bottom of page, we pick where we want it. You could even put of here. And you could do something very similar to this, page one of one, page three of five, and things of that nature. If we don't want the uh, it in the middle here, we can change it to, to the right-hand side by clicking on the Home tab, and then choose indentation to the right. So that's how you put headers and footers in a document.